I think you need to spend some money today. Just get me the good stuff because I want to catch a giant. How many left-handed reels do you have? <laughs> what do we have here, my friend? $200 rod. Oh. So that's three $260 reels. All your money is going normal. Oh, goodness. How bad did you guys do it? Dude, don't even focus on that, man. Be yeah, positive. don't even focus on that. We helped you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh giant. Yo. Oh, giant. Oh, giant. Oh, giant. Oh, giant. Oh, giant. Oh my, oh my god! Dude, have you ever seen anything like that? Dude, that's the first that's time in my life. Dude. Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Physical Norm YouTube channel. Comment is popping up down below. Let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below this video for your chance to be next to this comment of the day. So, so in this video, we have my friends Lojo and Ao fishing. Mm -hmm. Hello. Got it right that time. There it is. Um, it. What we're doing today, we are building the most expensive combo. You've been doing that a lot, Lojo, because I you like have more it. money than me. Mm. Not true. Guggen gold team kind of. We're green. It's fine. I think you need to spend some money today. You know, every once in a while, I, I have waves of just really wanting to catch a big fish. We do a lot of challenges. I won't catch fish, but I've been having a wave of like no messing around. I want the best stuff that a store has to offer, but I need you guys to pick out the most expensive stuff in the store I got or you. the best stuff. It's kind of like both. No budget. Just get me the good stuff because I want to catch a giant. How many combos? One or yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. Dude, Three? no budget. Dude, there's no limit, no budget, no nothing. So as we much can just, as you guys want. Okay. Okay. I need okay. new stuff because I broke a lot of it last week. Got you. But not by fishing, but by running it over <laughs> with my truck. You got me a new boat, which I was so grateful for, but in the same day, within 10 minutes, well, bam, <laughs> snapped one of my rods. So anyways, I need new stuff. Now, are we picking for you or are we helping you pick? I'm confused. Are you sending us in? Are you coming with us? What? I'm coming with you guys. Okay. And You're just giving us full or... control. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm seeing the wheels turning, Norm. I'm, I'm gonna send you two in. No budget, no limit, nothing. Last time you guys went to the pawn shop and I got one $30 combo and you guys spent over $1,000. Right. So this time, if I could trust you guys, send you in there, no limit, no budget. I need the best fishing supplies ever. And fishing I'm- Fishing supplies, that leaves a large that's window. That's open-ended. The only twist is our buddy Mason is across the street buying a boat right now for another video. So I don't have my card because I gave it to him. So you guys go in and spend <laughs> That's the challenge? Yeah. And then I get to go fishing with it. Sound like a plan? It was your um, idea. So. Uh, that wasn't my idea. You guys go in, just film my video for me, okay. and I'm just gonna chill. By the time we have built enough good gear for you, I feel like Mason will be here, with and the then car. he'll have the money. And if he's not, you can just pay for it. Well, so. yeah. I no promises. Our buddy has hired us to buy the most expensive lures we can for him. And rods and reels. And he did not come in the store, which is always a big mistake. We're gonna buy him everything. Cause if we buy him too much, he'll leave some behind. He just wants some nice stuff. He doesn't care about money. Yeah, I know. All your money is going Norm. Oh, sorry, man. Norm is a bank angler. We're gonna buy him a lot of stuff. And if you have a lot of stuff and no way to carry it. That's actually incredibly thoughtful Thank because you. we're about to buy him like a bunch of fishing stuff and rods and reels. That is literally the thing you would need if you were gonna get a bunch of brand new rods and reels. That's actually great. That's a good idea. The Sea Striker Deluxe Beach Court. I have to I be honest. Price. It's black and white, which really makes me hate the product. Yeah, like there's no color at all, but it is a good idea though. It literally says transport it all in one trip. He has no excuse. He can carry everything. Yep. You know? And our YouTube channels. Yeah. Well, think about it. Okay. Are we doing lures too, or are we just going high dollar product? He's got enough lures. I think like building expensive combos is really the embodiment of this challenge. Cover his boat deck like a new, like a pro bass angler. You know what I mean? With five All new combos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm seeing these rods. I've never seen a rod that just says bass on it. St. Crux Croy. St. Croy. It's $130. 7.4 heavy power. I think we can find more expensive than 130 though. Maybe, but that's a good option. Okay. That's good a good starting start. point. That's a good start. Where's the hoop? <laughs> I thought you were about to go. <laughs> oh, oh, dang it. I failed. Well, he's also has a bunch of Guggen rods, but they're probably like the golds. Oh, they have golds. They're like what? 140? 139? 159? 159. Oh, they are. We could definitely get him a Twitch, right? Because he's never going to use that. Yeah, he, never <laughs> he will never use the Guggen <laughs> Twitch rod. But I mean, you know, he wanted the most expensive gear. He was not specific about one thing or another. So a Twitch rod, I think, has to happen. Ooh. What do we have here, my friend? $200 rod. Oh, no, 
yeah. What is that? Is that a it's a Shimano. Is that a Gravelock? It's short. Is it not really short? It's a 6.3 Power Pro. 6.3? Is that what you said? Yeah. It says jig. I did not know Shimano made high level rods like that. That does not seem right. To be $200, why would well, it that, be? And that's a different kind. Here's another Shimano. How much is that? Oh, this is only 79. So where the hell did that even come from? And what is up with the handle? This is not normal. I don't know what this is used for. Because it's so like crazy though, I think that's even more of a reason we have to I do to get think it. so. And it's two hundred dollars. So it's it's gotta be a lot. A six foot three bass rod, is that not the weirdest thing you've ever it, heard? I don't know. It says jig. I'm curious if it's like a vertical yeah. jig. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know uh, though. This feels really strange in the hand. Switch, switch with me. Look at the where the rod yeah, sits. It's, it's got sits. a long butt. And Why? Norm loves long butt. <laughs> Man, we're off to a fantastic start yeah. right now. A rod he's never going to use and a rod he can't use because it's just not very practical. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the. Jeez. That's six three. That's out there. Four foot of butt on it. Yeah. Well, Norm, you wanted the best, buddy. We got you. But. Long butt. Long butt. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. If we sent Norm in a store with a no budget challenge, would he take it easy on us? I'm just saying, if we keep pushing this, where are <laughs> we going to end up? Hey, I want to find out where we end up. Yeah, Do you I not? Guess, yeah, sure. So let's just keep pushing. Probably. Maybe. Did you not bubble made rods? I did not. Should we get one of those just to support the brand? Not really. What have they done for us? Nothing. That's kind of cool, though. That is cool. I want to see a price, though. I don't see price. Yeah, that's 140, bro. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. It's spinning, though, which is, once again, even better. Yeah. Because he hates spinning gear. Switch spinning and a <laughs> $200 jig rod. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> this is going great. Yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> He's going to be a new man after mm -hmm. this. Lojo, let me ask you a question. You know how Norm always, like, plays weird games with us? What yeah. if we mixed in the worst rod we could find? Tell him it's $300. Yeah. Oh, so just let him think it's expensive. Yeah. Just as okay. a little sprinkle for you folks at home. You got to mix it up. I like I think it needs rod. to be flimsy and yeah. about $12. Okay. Okay. Flimsy and $12. We can do that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's another it's, $160. So it's we'll have, sure, but it's fine. We'll have four really nice ones, and then the fifth will be just terrible. You we'll think he'll no like idea. notice right away? I think he will, but I think he'll be like, dude. $300 for this? We gotta find a brand that sounds like it might have an expensive rod, but everybody knows they shouldn't be. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? We gotta find the right rod. So we spent $850 in rod and like $1,200 on reel. And we got the the, uh, the tackle cart. We're watching Norm. Super glad you went over budget on the houseboat build. Kind of have this coming. And you better use that cart too, because that was a genuine gesture from one friend to another. Hear me out here, okay? Now this might not look, right in, in its current form, it looks a little like it wouldn't pass the test, but this is a telescopic rod, okay? So you think we could pull it out and like set it pull up? Pull it out, it. set it up with a nice reel on it maybe. You know yeah, what I mean? Something legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's gonna look at jawbone and be like, wait, or he might even not even know what that is. So we could be like, dude, they came out with this new <laughs> really nice rod. <laughs> It's like 150 bucks, and he just oh goes and like snaps it. Yeah, that's what we fish, need, right? Yep, I agree. Right. 20 bucks, by the way. <laughs> 20 dollars. You can so. catch fish on a 20 dollar rod. We're not saying that. I just want him to think it's 300 dollars, right. and it just yeah. Right that there. way, he just gets mad and just throws it in the water. So I know Norm likes only the best, so he's definitely gonna want a uh, what a Corrado DC. Is that his, isn't that his favorite? I thought it was. That left-handed right there. <laughs> that's the one that we want. If there, is there's a if there's a right-handed, we could take it as well. You always go so soft on Norm. Do you think and, we should just do bend, all left-handed? And he bends us over. You're like, so right. Yeah, I'm right. How yeah. many left-handed reels do you have? <laughs> you are right, though. We're kind of like starting something right now. With yeah, them. I don't like but it. But see, he's already started it, though. No, that's not how he sees it. We've already got it out. Come on, we got to get at least one. Yeah, we can get one. If you have a okay. right-handed, we'll take it as well. So we'll do both. Just so we're going to do two? One of each? Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, that's what I meant from the beginning. We got like three bait caster rods. Misunderstandings happen, man. Yeah, man. Dude's got to talk it out. That's right. Do you have three Corrado DCs? Yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah, I think we yeah. should get that third one Yeah, as we'll, well take that one as well. Yes, that one right there. Every one of those reels is 200 60. So that's three $260 reels. I was wondering if you had realized that when you were just ordering them up like cheeseburgers at McDonald's. Now that I realize I'm kind of sweating a little bit, but we're in here, you know? No, yeah, I think Once you make that decision, you can't go back. They're out. They're already on the table. Can we get that that spinning reel right there, the one that's on the Corona DC box? Oh, the, Lord. The Manford? I'm about to slide out of my Crocs. My feet are sweating so hard. <laughs> Why don't we just get something simple? Like yeah, let's go. Uh, Chiowa. Yeah, yeah. Because that's only 119. Good, 
gosh, that's a thousand dollars in real. Just get the big one, the deep sea one. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that. Should we? It's only twenty dollars more. Should we put that's, that on the jawbone? Yeah, I like to pair my shark reels with my telescopic jawbones. This is gonna be the best five rod combo I've ever seen. To be honest with you, why we just am put I the, nervous? I don't know I'm nervous, nervous because I know the repercussions of this. The next challenge that we do, Norm is not a very forgiving man. I'm gonna be like Norm and just play, like, dude. Just, just don't worry about it. Oh, so just go, oh man, you're good. You're good. I don't know why I'm sweating so bad, but I am. Just remember, journey. you're not buying. I'm gonna this. have a bad potty time because of this video. <laughs> I think you are. Ooh, we're trying to play Portable. a prank on them. Yeah. We're telling them it's the most expensive rods, but that one's twenty dollars. But we're gonna put a really nice reel on it. It's like a notice? like a four hundred dollar reel on it. Like something mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, Perfect. like a dial with that. We got all these reels though paired up, so you know he's a big Shimano guy. So yeah, four Shimanos, is. but we threw a dial in there. Just and a couple in case. left handed, just because he's trying to work on that left hand. Game. Yeah, must be ambient. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. And this part right here. But we've definitely already spent over two thousand dollars. Yeah, so. that's the thing though, is I told him to spend five hundred dollars in Home Depot and he spent a thousand. So he doubled mine, we could double his. And he's done it to me before too, so it's time. <laughs> I, Should can, we... I can help run up this tab. I mean, yeah, yeah, you need to get some shoes and some cool. Nike shorts for sure. Yes. Do you like coasters? Overrated. But if they sponsored me, I'd be all about it. I'm more of an Oakley guy. Yeah, yeah we're about to drop three. <laughs> yeah. We already have dropped about 2200. I'm thinking that we all need new shoes. I have heard that if you start healthy from the ground up, so you healthy foundation, I've heard health that. works up. And I'm wearing off-brand Walmart Crocs right now. So Dude. if I could get the real brand, that would be unreal. And then we could have a race around this fire track in here. Yeah, you should. With our new shoes on. Oh, this entire time I've been wondering who's faster between me and you. There's no question. <laughs> You're way faster, buddy. You have to get new Crocs, man. It just has to happen. You yeah. want to join the camo Croc gang, man? Oh, dude, I need a 13 for sure. I don't know if they have 13s. If you see any color 13, I'll take them. I just don't think they have my size. It's pretty unfortunate, but you should get your shoes at least. I'm also a 13. Are you really? Yeah. Man, you guys are ruining this challenge. Right? <laughs> yeah, this, I have to say. This video <laughs> has become dead. <laughs> Stop, dude. dude. Get off me, Mason. You saw that. Oh. Also, I know that it's midsummer, but Mason, don't you think? Norm kind of gets cold all the time. He does complain about being chilly. Boat here? Yeah. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Portable buddy. He's very cold natured. Yeah, yeah. He does not like to be cold. Especially this summer. Oh, you can't. I got this. No, no, no. Oh, you're the man. We appreciate you guys. You're that man is dunked up. <laughs> I can confirm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we got a heater, a carrier, five rods, five reels. One of those rods questionable. Five reels that are expensive, man. No line, no lures, he no doesn't hooks. Need them. He's got all that. Yeah. I think what we should probably do is think more about him and go like the health safety route. Let's get him a full body suit of something safe and then let's get out of here. Because I have a video I want to film too and this video is like taking way too much time. Oh, you're talking like a yeah, padded suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He needs a helmet, he needs knee pads, elbow pads, potentially a chest pad. I don't think he really needs a cup yet because he hasn't hit puberty, but maybe in like two years he could have a cup. Knee savers, they're only $200. Oh, what a steal. I'm a good guy. Setting that hook and that frog comes flying right back at you and almost hits you in the face. Boom. The new frog hook setter protector helmet. I was thinking, so like, whenever he, he has his hook sets and that frog comes flying back, stop. I feel like that's kind of like too much. We also have five minutes left, and my camera guy quit because we never film my videos. It's not that big a deal, but it's fine. Dang it. I don't think he needs a cup. They ran out of extra, extra, extra smalls, so yeah. Norm. Bud, I know you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be safe, and you're gonna have the best setup you've ever had. No concussions, you're gonna enjoy it. Gotta protect that lovely brain of Norm's that just keeps us on our toes. There's not really any other brain like it on YouTube. Yeah, there's not really a friend like him. Well worded. I want those. I don't know how you get those. Oh, but they're perfect, dude. You know how those would cup my stuff from bouncing while I'm running to those fishing holes? I mean, Norm, help Norm. It's like when I'm in class, so I just hold my hand up. Oh. This could go absolutely terrible. Dude, I like these so much. Oh, do you think I have to take them this whole thing? That is the only pair we have. I hope they're that hard to pull off. <laughs> My legs as well. No, dude, that's fine. Oh, perfect. Gosh, that's so <laughs> worth it. By the way, the card machine, do you know his pen? Yeah. Okay, cool, because there's a small family that really hates us all right now because we don't oh, have the pen. I got good. 30. 
You're welcome. What's up, buddy? Oh, goodness. Are you wanting to uh, look now, or you want to be surprised, or what? What are you? Dude, I kind of want to look and see what you guys got me. Bo Dude, I got so <laughs> bored, I did an ad read. Oh, oh. <laughs> this might be impossible. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh brings you easy to make meals, so we have two experienced truck drivers in the front that are also experts in food review, and then we have two people who have never cooked dinner before. We're going to show you how easy HelloFresh is to cook when you have a busy lifestyle. So do we cook now? We cook now. All right, so where do we start today? Do we start with the recipe? Wait, did you the read the food? It's in the fridge. Oh! oh I knew it. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> All right, see you, boys. Scrap up. Uh oh. All right, so we have a white cheddar Wonder Burgers. So that looks amazing. I've never cooked a burger before. We have lemony spaghetti with Brussels sprouts, and we have buttery garlic herb chicken. I think I'm gonna go with the white cheddar Wonder Burger. What are you gonna choose? I think I'm gonna go with the buttery garlic herb chicken. Ready? Get to your station in three, two, one, chef. So it has all the ingredients right here. Zero waste with this. They give you exactly the amount of ingredients you need. Oh, prosciutto? More prosciutto. Oh yes, it's sizzling. I preheated the oven. Right. Cut potatoes into one half inch thick wedges. These plastic knives are terrible. It takes the struggle out of grocery shopping. You don't have to know what to buy for a recipe. It just comes straight to your door with fresh oh, ingredients. Yes. And what's awesome guys is you can be an absolute beginner. I've never cooked dinner before besides cereal. Mm, a blown apple tea. Oh my eyes, the onion. Ah. Potatoes are done. Dang. It's hot. Why does it feel like we're on a dirt road? Ah! My ankle! We have to make a little pan because we don't have a baking pan, so we have to make do. Ooh, look at that. You don't want to lose the flavor. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Where are we? Oh, that's a speed bump. <laughs> Drizzle of oil. So we want to add our butter. Do we just shut a child? We can do it in the back of a truck. You can do it at home. Caramelized onions. Oh. Where's the mustard? Onions are done. Time to prep the ground beef, which is our burgers. Here's our sauce. Make them into little balls. Two four ounce patties into the pan. Made one for each. I'm just gonna protect it at all costs. For the bun! The burger should be done. And the cheese kind of melted, but we're supposed to toast the buns. Presentation is, is key. We have two burgers for two judges. Done. Oh my potatoes! No! What are you doing? No, it's hot! And I'm done. Oh, yours looks good. A chef never gives up. Oh, dude, it looks so good. Dang it, man. Hey, the meals are ready. Are you ready to try the food? Oh, it didn't hit the floor? No, no, no it didn't, no, it didn't, it didn't hit, the hit the floor. I don't trust you guys. So I present, it, I present you buttery garlic herb chicken. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that potato is raw. <laughs> the rest of our cook are good, dude. I'm gonna move on to the main course. Wait, that's cooked. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's very good. Thank you, guys. I tried my hardest in there. Now, gentlemen, I present to you the white cheddar Wonder Burgers. Um, don't mind the broken buns. They did never make contact with the ground. And then two <laughs> fries each. All right, well, boys, enjoy the burgers. Let your taste buds do the talking. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Really? That's, that's a good burger. Good. <laughs> Let's go. And you can make it at home with HelloFresh along with all their um, other amazing dishes. And you can get 16 free when you use my code. So gentlemen, you have had two courses. We have the white cheddar Wonder Burgers versus the buttery garlic herb chicken, but there's tons of different options online for picky eaters. Anything you could want to make with all the right ingredients in a short amount of time. Makes cooking easy, no grocery trip. You're saving 72% more money than if you were to go, in, to go out and eat. All I'm saying is between these two dishes and the two chefs that made them who have never cooked a dish before, which dish was your favorite and would you eat it again? Luke won. Uh, then I'd eat it again. I'd, I'd eat the burger. Luke, Luke definitely yeah, Luke won, won that. I want to try to taste this burger, man. I'm not even going to lie. That's pretty good. Dude, that was awesome. That, I made that, dude. That's good. Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGNORMCEPT16 to get 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. Once you click my description, we'll live update to count up the purchases. At the end of the day, we have learned that if me and Mason can cook a meal for the first time ever in the back of a moving truck, that you guys in your kitchen at home can save time, save money, and eat amazing food. Remember, once again, to use my code POGNORMCEPT16, pop it up on the screen right here to get 16 free meals why would you not do that everybody has to eat you need food to live you need calories to breathe start eating for free use my code it supports the channel and without further ado we're back to the regular content Wait. how much did they pay you for this ten dollars now be honest so i can know how much we spent because we may have spent more than you're getting paid for this video how bad did you guys do it Dude, don't even focus on that, man. Be yeah, positive. don't even focus on that. We helped you. We're going to help you catch more fish. Yeah. Bigger fish. I, I see do. four fishing rods, so that's good. I know that probably wasn't expensive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, sir. I mean, off the rip. A deluxe beach cart? I knew you would love that. <laughs> Wait, we got you so much stuff. This carries everything you guys got, man. Mm -hmm. There's rod wow. holders, dude. Oh. Mayo figured you're a big pond guy, so something like yeah. this could come in handy walking around a pond with all this new stuff you've got. So handy. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to guess how much this all is at the end. Yeah. I feel like this is expensive for whatever reason. Guess per item. I think you can add it up here. Yeah, like 80 bucks. Yeah, there you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. 80 bucks times... <laughs> 2.4. Yeah. Oh no. All right, so we have a indoor safe portable radiant heater. I figured you know you get cold a lot out on the boat, especially yeah. this summer. Yeah, this summer in Florida, man, it gets <laughs> chilly. So, Dude, so. thank you so much, for yeah, real. Man. This is really thoughtful of you guys, like, thank you. You're from Florida, we, you don't like to be cold, we know that. You almost froze to death in Maine a couple weeks ago, so, or a couple yeah, months ago. Was, you know, this isn't for travel. Like last before. year, yeah, like content, half a year ago. You know, the content was just coming out though, so don't you talk to me like that. By the time this video goes up, it's gonna be another half year later. Yeah, I'm so grateful for my gifts. <laughs> like I said, if you go crazy, just get something you wanna use. Do you guys want? I want it, you know what, Never mind. Oh boy, a 4,500? <laughs> I, dude, I've never had a reel with this big of a case in my life. <laughs> Holy smoke. Yeah, well, before I open this, is this the one that we always look at and we're like, that thing is big? I don't know, man. Look, all I know is it's a Daiwa. You're a bougie man. You need top dollar stuff. That's all I That's know. That's what I said. Dude, look at the handle. I can't even see the reel yet. <laughs> oh, it's a spinning reel. Yeah. yeah. We know you're a big spinning reel dude, guy. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Dude, this like thing is a boy. unit. <laughs> I feel like everything I've touched so far is just costs more than my rent. It uh, does have gold accents. That, that was the cheapest carat. reel that we bought, and it was... Yeah, it's true. 140. You know, I'm okay with that. I thought it was going to be really expensive when I saw the big box. I'll show you kind of what we time. were thinking. <laughs> Give it some time. You haven't gotten anywhere near the money yet. I just so saw just a baseball. On a baseball so moment. all these rods were over $160. Good. The most expensive was 200 flat. Okay, okay. okay. Think There's of, five? We got you an intro rod? Well, dude, we figured like, you know, on a bass boat, you got to have at least five combos, right? Like, you got to have five of the best combos you can have. <laughs> right. I mean, so show me what you got me, man. Well, I mean, I know we don't want to go rod by rod here, but uh, they all have like unique, you know, characteristics. So let's see what you think about that one right there. That's a Shimano rod, by the way. <laughs> dude, why is the handle so long? <laughs> long butt. You're a big long, long butt. butt guy, right? So. Yep. You know me better than anybody. Wow. Well, thank you so much, man. I remember telling you guys, like, in the videos that we filmed on your channel, how much I, like, just absolutely hate Shimano rods. It's my least favorite brand. Right. So I thank you guys for getting this for And me. that was the most expensive rod, too. It was. It was $200. Yeah. 
<laughs> then we got your favorite Guggen rod. Oh my god. Which is the Twitch, right? I thought you guys were gonna go hard, but I didn't realize you're gonna go this hard. It's yeah. your favorite, man. The Twitch, Twitch is the Twitch favorite. rod. Yeah. <laughs> I already know the jokes you guys made in the store. I don't even have to watch the video, and I already know the jokes. Right, and then so. we had at this bad boy right here, which is a really fire yellow bone or a uh, stub. Uh, bone. It's inshore. It's an inshore bone. Please tell me this wasn't more. This wasn't 160. Please tell me it's it like 10 was. Dude, that one was <laughs> up there, bro. <laughs> yeah. You're not. Are you for real? Yeah, for real. It's up there. What? Dude, no, it's not. Oh, it's dude, no, look at the it tip. Is. It's not even on right. It's broken. Well, you may have just done that. I yeah, don't even you know. probably probably did that in the back of the truck, but dude, the tip is. It could have been 150. Well, you, wait, you did just that. broke it. Dude, dude it was, you can't do that. Dude, you tell me this wasn't twenty dollars right now. It was it was that high was, end. No, dude. that was one that was one twenty. They were all one sixty. Yeah. Dude, is Jumbo not one. like the exporting goods brand? Yeah, but it was one nineteen ninety nine, it's their inshore. Yeah, it's the I swear because new. we got these. Side yeah, because this side. one too, this is inshore as well. Did it's I tell you guys I was going bass fishing or did you just saw I was going saltwater fishing? I don't think you ever are bass not inshore? Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. I probably should have specified better. Yeah, dude, yeah. you're fine. All right, what else? Yeah. You I saw a baseball helmet. Put just... the shit back on there. Yeah, come on. Man. You're, right you're gonna lose it. I'm being ungrateful. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Thank you for everything <laughs> Wait till you open the next bag, then you'll you'll feel a lot more grateful. All right, this one? Your favorite. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is like Christmas. It's like $1,000 in that bag right there. Dude. There is $1,000. Which is just... Woo! All right. Yeah, you should have just dumped them out, dude. Oh! Out. oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> price tags <laughs> up. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Come on. I forgot, dude. I was out here saying, I was like, I just went like $900 over budget in his last video. I went 1000 over in your video. So I thought it was going to be good, and I remembered that I ruined you guys. Well, dude, I'm actually kind of hype about this, though, because all of these I can use. They're dude, all... open those up. Yeah, let's check them out, though. Why do I need to check them out? Just check I mean, out those two specifically. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Are they left-handed? <laughs> One of them is. I mean, we know you're trying to improve your left-handed skills. Dude. Yeah, that's dude. Cool. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> dude, you just spent hundreds of dollars on something I'm never going to use. You're going to you're use gonna that. You're going to use this. Don't you have to. Like, you you're told the people that. you were going to take this Shimano reels? Yeah, yeah. I just realized where that one come from. Out of the one's, other bag. This one's spinning too, so. You need, a, you need like a spinning Shimano setup, you know what I mean? You need to really step this up. Let me just crank that on here for you. <laughs> I thought you guys were going to do bad, but this is just exceptional. Wow. You're exceptional. Thank you. A left-handed $300 reel. I hate fishing left-handed. <laughs> Sometimes life isn't always about loving what you're doing. Dude, I'm about to go find somebody in the parking lot and give them this. Don't you do it. Don't you do that. All right, so what else do we have? All right, this is what the main thing is. I've noticed you hurt yourself a lot, especially in the three takes we did for this intro. So yeah. if you wear that. Did you try it on? on? Yeah, yeah, you should put it on. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, when, <laughs> wow. I, when I saw this, I thought you were being selfish just getting your kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's all you, dog. That's I kind of like this, man. Throws me back to my middle school days when I used to be athletic before I let myself go. Don't you worry. I touched it, so it's fine. <laughs> you gotta bite down on it. Now you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah, man. You're welcome. I'm just gonna guess like 1700. Yeah. Oh, 1700 and five dollars. There you go. Very good. Turn the receipt, man. I don't think you want to see the receipt. It's it's like 1700, he, but a he, little more. He told the girl behind the counter to throw it away. So. Dude, the left-handed stuff. That was just a that was a low blow, man. I thought you guys were my friends. Now I just can't trust you with You're my credit card ever again. <laughs> you look so hittable right now. I don't know why. I just want to bow. I, mean, I already man. took big enough of a hit on this. Come man. on, dude. Put the bounce in. I'll yeah. just one one head slap. I should have known too. I didn't even put two and two together. When there was five rods, I was like, oh, that's funny. I didn't think that there had to be five reels to go on the five rods. All right, guys. Well, um, can't wait to go back to Florida with all this stuff. I feel like half this stuff or more of it is going to yeah. go to my dad because I think he thinks it'd be cool, but I'm going to use all of it for the video. I'm wearing this the whole time I go fishing. Hey, I did. When... Thanks. <laughs> it's funny you said that because we definitely referred to the fact that you squigged this on a couple of our no budget challenges. So we're kind of like all even at this dude, point. So. Dude, but I bought you guys. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mason needed some you new just shorts. Like these. I really did. And they're the last pair in the store. Oh, so you have to get them because they could. They took them off the mannequin. That's how last pair they were. This, right. this one's okay. I, I approve of this one. Well, guys, I'm going to go back to Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed our last collaboration together. It was a good time. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> Does anybody actually want a left handed bait caster reel? Because that will sit in my room. And. 
Give it away. Make this a giveaway. <laughs> all right, yeah, guys. So if you want to win a left-handed $280 reel, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, comment down below something nice in your favorite color, and then also go subscribe to these two boys. Um, or unsubscribe, honestly. <laughs> Whatever you guys want to do. You're entered. You get an extra entry if you unsubscribe from... I'm kidding. Go subscribe to these hey, two hey. boys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> go, no, cut that. <laughs> subscribe to these two guys. Subscribe to me. Like all the... You know all the things that we normally do for giveaways, and we will give away left-handed big caster. And if you win and you end up not being left-handed, I'll send you a left-handed big caster and a right-handed big caster. Because I have way too many now. But thank you guys for getting everything. YouTube and you guys can also win this too. This reel right here. So three reels in this giveaway. And if you want the indoor <laughs> heater. <laughs> How dare you give away this giant. Okay guys, all right. Enter the reel giveaway. I guess the next clip you'll see me. I'm gonna be in Florida at a private lake that I just recently, I think I have permission to go fish. So we'll see you guys there. Am I recording this back? Oh, wow. All right guys, we are out here oh <laughs> with Lojo. Out here at the beautiful property here in Texas. Where did that camera come from? It's from my pocket. pocket. It's from my pocket all day. What? Guys, we've been going crazy all day. If you haven't seen the videos that we've been filming out here, we've got some absolutely massive bass. But this is the continuation of the video. Crazy change of plans. I was supposed to go fishing by myself. Basically, I got back, got rained out. So now we're here at a beautiful private lake in Texas. Pioneer Lake. Baby. Pioneer Lake. They've had us out here. It's been absolutely amazing. We've been filming lots of videos out here. So if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But we have some of the stuff. I flew it from Florida. Everything that we got flew it all the way to Texas. So I have the saltwater rod and left-handed reel. And then I got Lojo. Here, Lojo, show me what you got real quick. What do I have? Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got the, uh, the Corrado DC. Or and Corrado some K. weird rod with, like, electric tape on the butt. You see that? On oh the booty? Oh, my Lord. What is going on here? Wait, did you not do that? It's broken. This you guys bought me off. two of the rods that I flew with broke. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so these are the only oh, two rods left. Horrible rods? Yeah, you guys oh, got us all. You no. remember all the expensive stuff? So you yeah. thought I was going to do it, but now you no. do. <laughs> I do remember we specifically yeah. picked like the dumbest rod yep. ever. And now you're here with this is me. The, this is that rod? Yeah, that's one of them. The other two broke in the flight. This thing's going to fall apart as soon as I set the hook, bro. This it's already whole, falling apart. The real so. seat thing is like coming undone right here. Yeah. Oh, man, that's not Well, guys, this is just going to kind of be, there's giant fish in here. Got a eight pounder yesterday. It's just going to be a fun little vlog. Us using all the bad stuff, seeing if we can catch the big fish. We got about an hour and 15 hour and 30 minutes before the sun goes down. I think that'll be plenty of time. Perfect time for these bass to start moving. It's July, super hot out. So normally on those summer days, I don't really believe in like times of day to go fishing other times of year. But in summer, you really want that last hour before the sun goes down, last hour before it comes up. So we're approaching like literally the only point on this whole entire lake is about 70 acres or so. And uh, we're going to start dragging some stuff offshore because we haven't done that yet. So see how it goes and uh, stay tuned. To refresh your memory, because I forgot, because this intro was filmed a long time ago. <laughs> um, I have a left-handed reel and a saltwater blue rod, but I'm throwing the old clutch <laughs> around out here. So what I caught the eight pounder on actually yesterday was a liftless, so we're just gonna, <laughs> oh my gosh, get it started. I hate throwing left-handed. Lucho. Guys, I might start screaming by the end of this video. This is the last thing you want to do at a pond with tons of giants. And I figured I'd be nice and at least give you the right-handed one. It's the last thing you want at a beautiful lake with potential PB breakers. Just be throwing stuff left-handed. Do you feel like when you fish left-handed, it's just like starting over fishing? Yeah, basically. I don't even feel like I'm connected with my bait at all. I can't even tell what it's doing. Yeah, it makes everything, can't set else, the hook. It makes everything else worse. It really, I don't get how people do it. You guys got to try fishing with a left-handed reel if you guys are right-handed and tell me how it goes. Or vice versa. If you're left-handed, try fishing with a right-handed because you have to set the hook over the opposite shoulder from left to right, like Drake said. Oh. Mm. A little Drake reference? It's kind of cool, dude. Just me and you. Yeah, Normally cool. we got some camera guys or something. Yeah. But it's so hot outside, they're all like, yeah, <laughs> Everybody no. quit on us a long time We're not going to do that. <laughs> I love it. Are you going to sit down this whole video? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get up eventually. Are you sitting down this whole thing? Well, like I told you about the whole trolling mode, I'm just trying to make sure we're going to be where we're going to be for a little bit. Because. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Oh. Yeah, I kind of like it, man. Is this not the aesthetic that you're looking for? No, I, I was just telling you, like, if I... You know, it was ever in your videos, I would just never sit down. But. <laughs> oh, I got one on the left-hander! Lojo! Does it he feel came good? Up. I can't set the hook on this thing! Dang it, he freaking clobbered Jeez. the clutch, man. Like, hit it so hard, and I set the hook like a noodle. I don't even know what I set it like. Man, 
through a backlash, but I have to use my left hand to get it out. <laughs> I would rather throw a $5 right-handed baitcaster than a $180 left-handed one. And I mean that. Facts. Dude, I really got knocked too. It's actually kind of making me mad. So Lojo, what are you doing over there? What are you feeling about your rod? Well, I mean, I'm just dragging, man. Like you said about this point, if it's got any like type of a depth change, it gets deeper right here. From our experience, fish just sit on those little humps. So I'm trying to just drag one past a huge one's face. But if you keep getting smacked on moving baits, I may have to reevaluate my entire life. And the fact Everything? that all of our friends and employees have abandoned us. So we yep. have to reevaluate that too. Maybe there's fish on this point after all. Oh, I see the rod bend. Keep them bend, Lojo, no! let's go. Dude, are you on? No, I hooked a lock. Dude, this feels decent. Dude, he's... Oh! oh! It juiced! Oh no! my God! Keep him on, Lojo. No! Keep him on, keep him on, keep him on. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh my gosh. I I knew. A... Oh, get him. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh god. He's insane. Oh. Oh. Dear Lord. Oh, Joe, you did it, man. Oh my god. I'm Dude, so sleep deprived. Fish bump. Watch out for the camera. I know. I was about to pull it out and see like, if you do Let me put that it. in my pocket before my camera guy actually quits. Dude, I'm oh so happy god. for you and for us. Dude, that freaking, that, that fish on that rod Dude, right there, bro? That's a way to break in the new rod. Oh wow, she goozled it. I switched up from the trench hog, or to the trench hog from the Mondo worm, thinking that it would be like a different presentation because everybody's been throwing mondo worms you know yeah because they've been working for everybody we're live I, I don't guys i apologize for this video quality <laughs> this is kind of like a, i feel like i'm shooting a homemade video right now <laughs> dude <laughs> that is a giant that is a chaplawi what do you think six right at six oh uh, we got a scale right here we do have a scale see, what, we can see out for me, man. this is the first time we've ever had a scale and caught a decent fish in our lives Hey, we came to a nice private lake in Texas. We actually brought a couple scales. So we and it turns okay. on. Dude, that is a unit. Oh, man. Six pounds, eight ounces, baby. Six, eight, six and a half pounder, dude. Oh, and it looks like a freaking seven or eight with its mouth. Yeah, Give me dude. a mouth shot real quick. Look at oh that my bad girl gosh. coming at you. Wow. Well, dude, my shadows are all over this thing, but it's beautiful. Look at the head, dude, compared to my hand. I mean, we don't, I got a pretty good sized hand, and that head right there? Yeah. What a oh, fish, Oh, yeah, dude. that's it, man. What a stinking fish. Beautiful, man. Everything's bigger Holy in Texas, cow. Norm. That's what they say. That is nuts, dude. Yeah, that bass is blind in one eye. Gotta see that white thing in his eye, and that one's not like that. Wow. Blind in one eye. That's a probably an old fish. Yeah. Well, that, that being said, let me get her back in the water. That's probably like a, gosh, who knows how old these fish are, man, but you got to feel like the bigger ones. Oh, yeah. fish pump, dude. Let's go. It had that much energy still after that whole fight and everything. Yeah. That's like king fish of the lake right there. That was Both awesome. Okay, right. so I think dragging the uh, point and maybe cranking the point was not a horrible idea. Yeah. Imagine how dumb everybody feels right now. Being yeah, not up being here. And up at, inside in the cabin and AC with nice food. Think about how dumb they feel. Right yeah, now. steak and fresh carne asada tacos. and. Well, guys. I guess this means we're going to stay at the point for a little bit. That was one heck of a way to break in a brand new rod and reel combo, Lojo. Uh, I'm going to keep, you know, working away with my left-handed reel, but yeah. guys, what a way to start it. This is fun, man. I feel like it's the first time in a while I have vlogged, so if you guys are liking this, let me know. Well, dude, great catch, but even a better net job, not the flex, but going to give myself props just to hype me up for this left-handed reel I'm about to have to use for the next hour. So that was on the trench hog. Yeah. <laughs> you hooked that. <laughs> that is impressive. I caught scale that we normally don't have and wires that we normally don't have. <laughs> I was just thinking like, okay, the sun's going down. The water was a little bit muddier today than it was yesterday. Yeah. This hump, you know, like the fish have moved offshore. We mm. talked about that in other videos because we filmed 18 videos today, but like we've been hammering all the structure around the bank. So now these fish have to come off a little bit just to find yeah. the sanctuary. And it's, so, it's, dude, it's so hot. And when so it gets hot, hot, man, they want to be close to deep water. That's and right. we're, there's a massive flat out here. So they come up, they, they eat their shad or whatever they want to eat. And then they go back down again. Oh, we're yeah, right on that yeah. transition point. Dude, and the GoPro lasted right until I got into the boat, too. That's yeah. so perfect. Got one. Are you good? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, Lojo. Left-handed reel. 
<laughs> oh, I've got this. Oh, oh, he is, he is not good. <laughs> Dude, I feel so weird reeling with my opposite hands. Dude, Come look, here. Doing that. Dude, he ate that this. thing forehead first. Wow. Look at that clutch in there. Dude, I'm t when I got a couple bites out here trolling a jerk bait, I just figured that that meant something. Well, folks, there we go. Another one. She's bleeding a little bit, so I'm going to let her go. Little one pounder. I'm not jealous of Loki at all. Dude, I think the rules are where we have to switch combos in like two minutes. Kidding, dude. I love throwing a clutch like, you know, like seven, eight foot of water, kind of deep, like letting it sink the first few seconds of the cast and then kind of bringing it in maybe a foot above the bottom. And the bite on it is just fun. I guess every bite's fun, but. Guys, it might look like we're casting in the middle of nowhere too, but this dam over here is like 18 foot. And everything out here, it looks deep, but it's really pretty much all the same. Uh, at least gradually dips off. So uh, it's maybe five, six foot out there in some spots. So not too deep. I got just give you guys a breakdown of a private lake. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to just try kind of out deep randomly and just see if we can hook something big. But we're off to a great start, man. We got some fish, a giant. Yep. We're good, man. dude. They the just gone. I mean, we're something yeah, up huge back away. there got him there we go might have not got the best hook set he doesn't feel too big but you never really know on a bendy left hand rod and reel that you just are not comfortable with but i think it's a dink i don't know but we're on baby he's swimming this way i hate it when they swim right at you dude what is going on is he nice is he oh he's not terrible he might be my biggest one oh oh, oh so i'm so sorry buddy <laughs> dude it's so much different reeling in left and right i know i said that 90 times already but i just want to keep reminding you of how much of a bad setup i have i feel like that's the hardest challenge honestly reeling them in setting the hook everything that's why i went with the clutch because you don't really have to set the hook all too good but guys i mean all the bats out here are just you know they look like they're from florida but we are in in texas they do look like florida bass see you man they're, they're, a, they're a Florida F1 strain. That's what was stocking yeah. here was Florida strain? Yeah. They're just all up there having fun. That's so funny. We're out here at this uh, beautiful property. There's a cabin that sleeps like 25 people. And they've so graciously had us out here and let us stay at their lake and let us fish it and use their boats and everything. But there's, uh, you know, some of the neighbors are here. It's yeah. a Saturday. We're out here fishing, which is also very fun. But they're just out there playing. There's a golf course on the property. Nine nine hole golf course everybody's like a hoot and holler yeah everybody's just time. having fun playing music Everybody. with their families children are out here swimming loving on each other and yeah together. we just hear screams of excitement <laughs> <laughs> got him got him we're on again man that spot is loaded he's pulling but it's just like you know you just don't i don't think so yeah, I think the you know like underneath those you know what i mean yeah, they might be, dude. They're down, they're down there, you know? Holy cow, he just pulled pretty hard. Oh, it's not, it's not a bad one. It's not, a, no, we're, it's not net worthy. Let's save it for my big, big one. But oh my nice, God. Nice. Oh, it's like, a, I didn't know it was like that. It's like a three and a, oh. Guys, check that out. That's my best one. It's no six and a half pounder, but that's a, it's probably like a two and a half maybe three it's long though it's a nice fish. yeah that might be a three pounder but i'm not gonna put it on the scale because i want to get one that's actually scale worthy out here but uh that was so fun dude it's so it's so different reel and then it's like when you fish with big casters a really long time and you catch your first fish on a spinning reel it's like when you go right to left you guys are approaching some serious wood some serious stuff seems like all these lanes in between the wood you just bring a moving bait through and they just crunch it Dude, my right hand hurts from holding it at a weird angle. I just <laughs> don't like know how to do up. this. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh giant. Dude, giant. that might be that, big. Oh, dude, he took off so quick, I already know he's big. Dude, I'm not even reeling him in. It doesn't even feel as big as the last one. Dude, it's, it's still a good one. It's pretty big. It's a, it's a big one. God. Dude. Wow. <laughs> that was sick. He took off 100 miles an hour. That was one of the sickest initial fights of my bass fishing career right there. 
Have we seen her yet? She got, she's it's so not, good. She's, it's good, yeah. But it's, she's fighting way harder than her son. Oh, no, that's a good that's one, a big one. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Joe, come on, dude. Come I think on. It's, I think it's seven, I think. <laughs> that's bigger than the last one. <laughs> dude, you're crazy. What, what the freak is going dude, on, Dude, I didn't turn on a Texas rig. What is going on? I'm just dude, that's like a seven pounder. That's a seven pounder. Oh, my hey, gosh. If only we had a live well dude. right now. Dear God, I didn't think it was that big, but it, it took off so hard, though. Yeah. I'm so confused right now. I'm going to back us off all this wood, though, because we need to go it back It took off this. hard, then it stopped. Did, I know you guys heard that initial yeah. hook set, and then rrr, 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 just take and drag. That's a seven. Yeah. And some change. That's just a seven. What came out so easy? God, dude, dude that's, really? a, that's a seven pound. Well, it, yeah, it's like another six, six maybe, but it's yeah. it's right. It's it's a freaking unit. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like the same fish almost. Dude, you're nuts. <laughs> dude, we barely even started flipping this wood at all. That's the crazy part. This is like the second brush pile we flipped, and I got knocked on the first one. Remember? Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Oh, look at that. Look at the scale already. Yep. Oh, how you feeling, gosh. man? Wait, if I had like two bites and caught two sixes, is that what just happened? I think so. I don't know if I've been bit again, other than these six pounders. This might be pushing seven because it is tummied up. Yeah, I think that's bigger than the last. It's at least got to be. No way. Is it seven? No way! <laughs> six, eight! It's the same guy the story size! <laughs> six and a half Unless pounder? it's the same fish! There's no, there's no chance, there's man. No we have moved 40, 50 this yards. This feels different, too. The teeth are way sharper. Yeah, it, that one's shorter and fatter, shorter I feel and like. shorter and fatter. Yeah. Ship down! <laughs> oh my gosh. Two six eights. Like, that just doesn't even make sense. It's almost the same fish, but this one is a touch shorter and a touch fatter. That is so crazy, dude. The other dude. one probably had an inch on her, but... Wow. I would take a picture, but it'd be the exact same fish. There's really yeah. no need to. How does the mouth compare, you think? A little smaller mouth? Mouth is smaller. She's, Shorter frame. She's just, she's yeah. eight better. Yeah, because it doesn't have the blind eye. So yeah, it's definitely a different fish. Oh yeah. Unbelievable, God. Dude. Let's just keep track of our best five and let's just keep going because we've got all this wood ahead of us. Yeah. You ready, buddy? You ready? There she goes. Dang, she took Dude. off hard Come too. on, come on. Dear God. Come man. on. Let's do all sixes all night. <sighs> I might throw this rowl trap for another five minutes <laughs> like and, just, one cast. and just switch up the Texas rig. There's another Texas rig tied on. Yeah, but right? if, if I said. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's another one tied on. Yes, there yeah. is. Yeah. I was going to say if I said it left handed, but I forgot we have other rod and reel combos. Yeah, dog. Yeah. I mean, this is for the sake of the video, man. Yeah, this is for the people, right? Dude, here. you know what? I'm doing it right now. You should. I'm doing it. All right. Yeah, Guys, no. I didn't know this video was going to turn into a big bass bag, but Lojo has it going, so. Oh, yeah, and my trouble with her stuck in the carpet. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right, you guys, I'm going to give this like five more minutes, but that sun is going behind those trees. And I want to throw this Texas rig. What a genius switch up to the trench hog after throwing the mondo worm That's, all day. Dude, I mean, I, I mean they're eating it good. Like, that is. I was just hoping maybe a different, you know, yeah. a different look. Guys, What's everybody gave rod? up because it was, we'd been fishing it hard and yeah. the bite was definitely slowing down. It was hot outside, but now look at them. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, we got another situation here. Is there uh, another text? There is another text figure on there? I think so. Oh, oh yeah, my see hook's it. behind you somewhere. You think you could, uh. Oh, yeah, it's in my foot. My um, hook's. Yeah, oh, you're good now. Dude, I feel like the big ones hang out in that brush, like you were saying. Yeah. And like the smaller ones are out chasing bait, but the big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're more lethargic, maybe. Yeah. Hanging out. Just yeah. waiting for some big bait to come through their home. I just think they're like at the base of all this structure, but to get yeah. down to them, you got to get through the little guys that are just out there chasing. Yep. And it's just like, just like we said, it's off the bank. Like, look how, you know, you still got all this stuff on the bank, and they just come out here a little bit to get a little uh, sanctuary. That hook set was gnarly. That was probably yeah. the coolest hook set I've ever witnessed. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. I cannot. Y'all should pull up the clip when we get back up there, because I want to I want to show it. everybody. Yeah. That's wow. very atypical. Dude, they're going to be a... so mad when they see. Yeah, they So mad be. and so happy. They're going to be like, that's awesome, but I'm so mad we weren't there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We come back in, caught 30 pounds by ourselves. They might be a little jealous. Yeah. Who wants to golf, man, when the bass are biting like this? Yeah. I get the appeal of golf, but this is just so much more appealing to me right now. Okay. I don't feel too many abrasions. <laughs> so, oh, and you're fluorocarbon it up in this dangerous area. You know I am not right. afraid to lose a monster fish. For guys, time. I'm switching it up. See, the goal of this video, too, I don't know if you remember in the beginning when I sent you guys in the store, was to get me the best fishing gear so I could go have a really good day of fishing. And you guys came out with dumb stuff. Uh, so technically, this is not cheating. And I actually think you yeah. guys got me one of these reels, too. You guys you got me one of every reel in the store. I think so. so. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna throw on a cross. Just I'm throwing something different than you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. where should I throw on a bandito bug? Bandito bug. Uh, it's what's that? It's what I saw first. Yeah, it's bandito bug. No, they're small. I want something big. Yeah. Crawl yep. up. Crawls up. 
What color are you throwing right now? June black, bug? black and blue. All right, I got Sun's one. going down, you know, give them something I can see. Yep. It's so weird how colors work with bass because you think, oh, it's dark outside, throw a light lure. Oh, it's yeah. light, throw a dark. But it's they see the same color waves. Right. I don't, I don't know. Like if it's sunny outside, you're supposed to throw white, like on top water. Right. And if it's cloudy, you throw dark. But mm -hmm. I feel like they would blend together, but it's the exact opposite. It is kind of weird. I still don't understand it. Dude, that was so cool, though, That was nasty, man. You're my hero. <laughs> you ever just get the feeling like I can never do anything cool in my own video? And it's just like, like God damn it. And then it really just rubs it in. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, that's why I was laughing the second time. I was like, I mean. And now we figured this out, and tomorrow we're going to film something for you. Yeah, and it, there'll be and, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, the, that's why I was laughing. It's just because, like, I could love, I'd love to catch six for my video. That'd be fantastic. And I'm catching two for Norm's. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Oh my dude, he's running again. Yep, he is. That dude. That oh, he's feels... got you wrapped up. No, he's out. Oh, he's coming. Dude, oh, you better get the net ready quit, again, bro. Dude. Oh, it's oh, another big one. Oh, that's another one. Huge one. one. The last it's two. another huge one. You're on, dude. Drugs. This is insane. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, yeah. Yeah. it's a game breaker, Mojo. Okay, just bring him to me. Bring him to me. Oh my god. That's a that seven is, or an eight. That is eight at oh least. My. Dude, that might be a nine pounder. Bojo, <laughs> come on. Dude, God, Give it dude. to me. Oh my You're God. You're so good for my videos. <laughs> you feel this so is, dumb right now. This is so ridiculous. Oh my hey, gosh. For everybody who left us out here by ourselves, this is for you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get away from all this wood. That's the thing. When you get get a big fish, you can't get excited and blow the rest of this stuff right here. Cause we have a bunch more stuff to fish. So I'm gonna move us off a little bit. Are you kidding me? And when I set the hook, I was like, no way, it's another big one. But I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Dude, that is huge. That is a giant, man. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a, I think that's a seven and a half. Or that, per, perhaps yeah, an eight. That might touch eight. Perhaps that might an be eight. a trophy. The scale is gonna be broken after the end of today. Dude, I can't believe this, man. The sun's I, going down. I can't believe it. We still got time. Dude, That's and with the thing. think we were debating even coming out and doing this? Oh, yeah, we were. Yeah. All right, it's in kilograms for some reason. So I have dude. to do a little conversion here. All right, kilograms wise... It's a big fish, dude. Yeah, it's three point four four kilograms, and so that's times two point three, yeah. right, so or something like that. Seven, yeah, yeah that might be an eight pounder. Three, yeah, we'll pop the conversion up, guys. All right, one more wow, look at that solid unit, right? Whole, there. Dude, I can't even fit it in the frame because the camera angle isn't oh, wide man, enough. Holy cow! Man. Oh, Lojo, man, come on, bro. What a dog! Beautiful. Man. What an absolute Beautiful dog. bass. Well, guys, it's just like weird because I feel like we're wasting time weighing these giant fish because I feel like yeah, because there's more out there. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel too. Three bites, three hook sets, twenty pounds of bass potentially. Dude, I'm shaking. Yep. Dude, I'm just I'm so happy for you, man. This is awesome. Congrats. I mean, I don't even think I've had a rough trip. I mean, it's been pretty good out here for everybody. But yeah. I do think I was due for a couple good ones. Like, and I had a kind of a grinder today. The biggest fish I caught today was a four until those. So Yeah, we fished 10, 12 hours today, and the biggest oh, yeah. fish was maybe a five-pounder all day. And that yeah. was with 10 people fishing it. And right. now we're out here, and we've... They're just eating, so I'm gonna stop talking, dude. Let's just keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Wow. So, dude, how are you working this when it gets in there? Like, what is dude, your? Dude, I'm going slow, bro. I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm envisioning the big bass sitting at the base yeah. of these little pilings. You know, I'm just trying to get it in there as close as I can, and I'm trying to leave it. You know what I mean? Like, try to like really kind of like hey, you have you basically have to eat those because it's just sitting there. And guys, that's why it's so important to watch both of our videos because me and Lojo have been joking. Whenever I'm in your videos, <laughs> I catch the giants. And then whenever you're on mine, you catch the giants too. So so ironic. Yeah, guys, I, I wouldn't leave quite yet because I'm pretty sure that, <laughs> yeah. that it's going to happen again. We're about to break me and but your best bag ever, which was only together, like 25 yeah. pounds, which we're going to do if we catch one two more. more if we fill out our bag, we're going to have that. So All right, so I caught that one right here. We just need to keep on working, dude. We haven't even touched any of the big structure, dude. We could circle back we around even, underneath. We, we barely touched the small structure. You tapped it one time. Dude, let me, let me, let's, for everybody, for everybody watching, put this in perspective. One of the six was caught at that point. The other two, one was caught right there. The other one was caught right there. Think about that. They were, those two sixes were like 20 feet apart. I mean, that one yeah. was right there on that first brush. The other one was like right here somewhere. That's nuts to me. That's why I, I feel like every single one of these has a big bass on them, you know? It's just like their spot, their home. You put a big <laughs> trench hog in there. They just can't help it. I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm like speechless, to be honest. I'm kind of not even believing this is real right now. Yeah, I just had that feeling, man, because we know there's giants in here, and we spent all day shallow. 
Yeah. Or beating the bank. Oh, see, I'm getting to the base of this one right now. So I'm going to try to leave him there. I want to let him fall as naturally as possible into that bass's mouth and just hope it swims out with it, which these kind of have. Oh my God, I thought I had another one. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had You're another freaking one. freaking me out, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I would be freaked out at that point. <laughs> see, the little guys are going crazy out there, but can't wait to hit those big sticks on the inside too man yeah it's kind of i might i'm thinking we might just need to do that now i think so do that and then we can we can hit every single cluster out here but yeah like why get like away get, from this area yeah. right here when we could go on the back side and work all that we caught those two fish right here so yeah why move or why why not hit the other side of this good stuff so the setup folks is just a simple little lead weight because that's all we have i'm, I'm guessing it's like a 3 16th ounce give or take and then a four aught guggen hammer hook that's been the magic sauce. No tungsten, no problem. That's what I always say. He always says it. <laughs> Every time. All right. Backside. Oh, hell, we're already in front of it. Well, we're right, here. we're right here. What are you talking about? We got Dude. this whole tree to hit right here. What? Yeah. Have, have you been in there yet? Yeah, like five times. Oh. So you do hit and catch one. Well, yeah. I was about to say, hold up. Let me, let me do it once. Hot up, hot up. That, look at that branch rocking right there, dude. Something just moved around there. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Missed it by 18 yards. So did you. Dude, they, oh my gosh. Might want to make a cast in yeah, that, that general direction. They're schooling. And I casted five yards short because I'm stupid. And Loge's about to catch another nine pounder because he's bored. <laughs> I just think these are the teasers, man. I don't know. You got a popper. Don't we have a popper? Yeah, but that won't work. Oh, okay. Good. We know that. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... Get it, dude! Oh. Big and big and oh, oh, dude, nice one, wow. nice one. That is a good one, man. Feels like that there's was, more I, out there, dude. He tailed it like a redfish to come up and bite it. I saw <laughs> him swimming on top of the water to eat a bottom bait. Dear it's fine, Lojo. It's not a nine, so I don't need the net. Yeah, golly, he's fighting like you would want it. Golly, man. Lojo, I'm having so much fun, dude. If I land this fish, this might be our biggest bag together ever. Yeah, I've I think it is. I've caught some 40s and 50s, not the flex, but. Right, but me and you. Dude, that's another like three and a half. Yeah. Man. Wow. Gee. <laughs> what is our bag at right now? Dude. 27? Like 28? Uh, dude, I don't even know. It's something like that. We'll have, we still haven't converted the thing because we don't have any cell phones. We'll service. do the math. Guys, I'd love to show these fish off for you, but I just got to keep fishing. Here goes another three, three and a half. We, Dude, so, he waked it so cool. I missed it, dang. <laughs> he came, I, like his fit, top fins were out of the water swimming towards it. Jeez. That was nuts. Get <sighs> back in here. Lojo, that tree's got to have a giant in it, man. Yeah, it we really does. We keep seeing it moving. Look, Look at that one tailing right over here. there. You saw that? Yeah, I'm looking at him. They are like up here and they are feeding. <sighs> Dude, this is just straight up fun. There's yeah. no other word for this besides fun. This ain't bad. Too bad AO's not here. He was in the intro. <laughs> he's missing out. I can't wait to make AO jealous about this, dude. Oh, he's going to be. If he, when he sees any of the content, he's going to be like, dear Lord, <laughs> how many eight pounders did you guys catch? <laughs> all of dude, them. Dude, my finger is literally bleeding from all the fish we've got the last two days. I'm. Yeah, mine's pretty gosh darn tore up. Oh, I got one. Get him. Golly, dude. It's so cool. Look at him just take it off, Lojo. We're doubled up. Oh, yeah! we're doubled up. No one popped off. Jeez! No. I was watching you when you said you had you had a bite, and then all of a sudden this guy tried to mug me and threw their fishing rod. Right. I'm, I'm just gonna keep fishing, man. Yeah, you're good, dude. If I catch some powder, I'm not even weighing them. I'm just throwing them back. Right. Dude, oh. this is this is ridiculous, Lojo. Yeah, this is not gonna help our big bag, but oh, thank you, buddy. You're tummied up. I got I one again. Appreciate the effort. Lojo, I just had one next cast. Get him. He dropped me, but oh. I had one. Lojo, I'm just freaking out, man. I don't, I don't feel healthy. I don't think my heart should be exposed to this much excitement. Kid excitement. They're so let. cool when we catch them here too, because you can watch them. It's literally, I feel like I'm saltwater fishing right now. Yeah. It's so shallow, but there's massive fish moved up in the shallow water. And guys, what they did in here is they put a ton of tilapia in. So the tilapia hang out around the bank and the bass come up and just smoke them. So that's why I think all these bats are just up here feeding is because they're just eating tilapia. And we just so happen to be throwing, you know, our trench hogs and cracking craws right in their foreheads. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's one. Nope. <laughs> yes, Lojo. Yes. <laughs> yes, man. Come on. We are laying the absolute wow. hammer. This is so cool. Oh! <laughs> he just crotched him. No. 
We're blowing the spot. Dude, I just had like 90 ripples by my crack and craw. <sighs> Get out of here, little junior. Ow, he splashed the tar out of me. Instant karma. Shouldn't have called him junior. Got a little cocky. Had to pay for it instantly. Have you thrown, or where have you been throwing? At the base of every brush pile, man. Okay. There has not been a single one of these fish not come off a brush pile in some way or another. It's really shallow where we are too, by the way. It's not even deep. It's just offshore a little bit. They, they think they have just enough protection to be there. But they were wrong. They are so wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. I think I'm going to cut through right here. That was cool. On, oh, I lost him. entry? Them. Yeah, he ate me top water. He's reeling it like a horny toad. Dang. Wow. Don't think he's very big though, so not even worried about it. Yeah, don't be Just save time <laughs> to catch a bigger one. This is a lot of fun. We got to be close to 30 pounds again. Well, maybe we got to. Dude, I'm getting waked hard. Lojo, big, oh, big, boy. big, 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 oh. net, 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 net. I don't, I haven't seen him yet, but the wake, I saw him doing it for like five seconds before he got it. And if that happened, I just got a feeling he's running straight to us. That's weird. The scale's in the boat again. Oh, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> That's my Dude. biggest one. What Let's the, go. What's the scale in there too? Dude, that is crazy. That's like a, there's, a, there's a five right there. There's our 30 pound bag right yeah. there. Holy Cause we just pulled the mouth. Yeah, he's skinny though, but wow. it's still a nice fish. Yes. Dude. What in the absolute? Is that, I, dude, I was too? reeling it and he was chasing it. No, a crack and craw. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was reeling it like uh, right below the subsurface and he just started chasing it. Wow, Jeez. dude, this is crazy. Do we want to weigh it? I do. I don't even want to weigh him. Well, I mean, I, I, do, I do, but I, I, I want to keep. I want to keep catching. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're running out of daylight. So the more we weigh, the less of these we can catch, guys. So unless we catch like a ten or a nine or something, I mean that is a giant bass, huge. You know, maybe nice five. One. Six if we're lucky, but probably not. Um, see you, bud. I like we're just throwing back fives just to get more. Wow. That's how you know the bite's on. That's how I'm you know it's on. Myself. Dude, swimming it. Jeez. Just, I, I saw him coming for it. It reminded me of the PB bass. My PB bass, which was 914, or my biggest bass on scale. Uh, and it did the same thing. Tailed it. Just started chasing my top water down for like five seconds before he even got up. and like It wasn't like he just surprised me. I saw him coming. Yeah. Dude, I saw that weight coming though, and I was like, I forget how oh, yeah. solid it is there, but still, I mean, that's a good fish. If he fish. had a belly, he would have been six and a half, seven. Yeah, if he had a belly like the last few ones, that'd have been just as good. Yeah. Close. Dude, I was running it like this, Dude, and I good. saw it's... him coming from behind it. He, he was just behind it, chasing it for a minute. Those trench hogs have really good flippers, man. Like they have a very underrated swimming action. Like nobody ever talks about swimming trench hogs, but I think it's like a viable thing to do, you know. Uh -oh. As proved by you just now. Oh boy. No. Now why you gotta go doing some crazy stuff like that, Norm? I didn't mean to do that. We're having such a good night. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> We're having such a good why night. Why would I ever want that to happen? I was trying to flip in this open little pouch. Like right there, kinda. Probably gonna catch one of this. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Do you need a net? No. No. I think we ran out of our big bass luck. The energy to which we use to catch the big bass. Dude, we just caught a five pounder about a minute and a half ago. Ow! <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah. He I punched did. himself using my fist in his face. Come on, man. Grow up. Get out of here. Oh my god. No! No, dude. Big? Huge. Dang it. We need a 30 pound bag. Oh no, Lojo. We need at least another five before we go in. Lojo. What happened? Big? Huge? Mega? I don't bass? even know, Mega man. Bass? He had it and went to the right instantly. He probably just grabbed the flippers or something. It was probably about to like inhale it. Oh, I think that was my biggest one so far by far. Dang it. So there are some big ones shallow too. It's just kind of like I'm they've swimming. all just come back in. Yeah, they're just moved up here eating. Tilapia, dragonflies. Oh man, I really wish I would either actually hooked him or completely missed him and had another shot. That was, dude, I, I, I'm seeing it before it happens, like the yeah. weight coming up. He, he hit it here to the right. It uh, was to this tree within, a, within one second. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> wow. Dude, I am on one right now. Wow. I am dying. We're just not even reacting anymore because it's just. <laughs> well, because I'm expected. realizing it's not big, or I'm just like, dang. Yeah. Dang, I'm it's only a three to, pounder. Because I'm trying to get a bag here. 
<laughs> and you're just I'm like, me dang from it. it. We still, I think we got close to 30 already. All right, it's a little better. They, they're just, God, they're all so fat. Congrats to the people of Pioneer Lake, man. You guys, y'all know how to manage a pond, man, or a lake. You guys know what you're doing. I'll give it to you. You're really trying to catch a big right now, aren't you? No, yeah, and I, that last one I had was big, and I'm mad because I haven't caught one yet. Or I caught that, I guess I caught like a five something. But they're just, dude, they're just, they're all over the, that one was just right there. I mean, they're all over the stuff, man. Oh my gosh, Lojo, watch out. Get them. Oh, dude, and all this too, they've been, they've been doing the same stuff that they're doing here this whole stretch. Like, I, we're like maybe halfway through it. Although I will say, like we talked about earlier, should we keep pounding these biggins? Yes. Before tomorrow? Tomorrow's our last evening, so. I've also missed nine of them, so they're still. There oh, she's goes. running. Oh, she's not big, but it's fun. When we say she's not big, I mean, it's a great bass on any other lake. <laughs> any other time we go fishing, we are hyped for this. But right now, you're slowing my progress down to catch a 10. Oh right. my gosh. Dude, this is so cool. I've lost count of how many we've caught. Dude, we're crushing them right now. It's cool. And I'm setting the hook with a, with a reaction rod, guys, and a Texas rig. So I did miss one that was pretty freaking sizable, but I'll blame that on me anyways. We're not even like properly geared for this. You're still using the joke rod. And we've caught our yeah, biggest true. bag ever. Yeah. This has definitely all been on the joke rod. For a it's, challenge. it's felt really good too, by the way. The rod's done surprisingly well. All right, brand new crack and craw. And you guys, if I think Lojo's out here, so I'm gonna throw in the June bug crack and craw. And what's cool about this is you can flip it or you can swim it. So it's kind of like a multi-purpose thing. That looked bad. It was. <laughs> Dude, cast that lily pad yeah. right there. You see it? Yeah, yeah I saw there's some, there's a fish underneath it. I'm telling you right now. I've been watching it for three seconds. There it is. Get him. Good. Off. Oh. Yeah. I dude, I've been watching that lily pad for five seconds. That's really, literally what I was about to cast. Do that exact same thing. Oh man, they're just there's and they're still doing it. Yeah, they're they're everywhere. Did you believe me? There was a fish underneath that lily pad. Dude, I I saw the same wake that you saw. Yeah. And I saw you get really excited. Like, Got him that time. That was cool. That was cool. Followed it out. Not dude, a bad one either. Not a bad one. Not a bad fish at all, though, Joe. Wow. Just flipping threes over and over again. Let's no go. better way to spend a Saturday evening. I don't think than so. just out here. Not even on the bass boat, man. We're just out here. Yeah, super little low John key. boat, yeah. just hanging out, enjoying nature, catching fish. We are, man. We're this kind is of doing life perfectly right, right? We're now. gonna look back on this in a few years and be like, dude, that was a day. This is yeah, true. This is memories in the making, people. Oh, I can promise you, I will never forget the time I caught three sixes in a row in Texas because <laughs> that just happened. Like three bites, three, one of them's a seven, seven like six, six, seven. Seven and a half, maybe even. We might be catching eight, dude. We, we, got, we still gotta do that conversion, guys. We don't know what we have. Yeah, we still don't even know what we have. Wow. This has been some of the coolest. This, and guys, this is all within an hour and 15 minutes. It's yep. been some of the coolest, this is the coolest hour of fishing I think I've ever had. It's pretty damn good. And it's like crazy because now they're all eating, but earlier today they were just moving, but not eating. Like they are in feed mode right now. Dude, big fish are moving up there too. Don't. All, oh, I got one. Oh man, I can't. I don't even know why I did that cast because I couldn't set the hook. I just feel like I should get bit by a 10 right here. No, yeah, there's there's more big fish right here. I can feel it. We just got locked back in. We're all happy and freaking lackadaisical right now. We got to sharpen back up. Mm, get sharp. back in the game, dude. Coach. That stick for us up there, too, that we still have to hit. Yeah, man. We're going to get swam boozled. They're gonna come looking for us in a little while in the pontoon. <laughs> oh, dude, I got bit on slack line just there. Really? Yes, he let it go. I think he had it wrapped around a limb and he pulled it out of his own mouth. The line was laying over and I felt the, a rod pull. Oh, dude, one just moved out. Lily pad stem right Murder. here. Ready? Get him. Get ready, little Joe. I am ready. Oh, I just got eight. <gasps> Look oh. at him running. Oh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Dude, have you ever seen anything that, like that? Dude, that's the first that's time huge. in my life. Dude, Norm, it's, it's big, dude. dude. I'm, my I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Just dude, this, this is, is this my big. Let's just play him right. If oh, he's pulling us, he's pulling us, drum, he's pulling us to this, dude. Oh my God. We're gonna have to try to get him before he gets to it. I'm taking Here he comes, here he comes. 
It's big door. It's big. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Keep him on. Keep him on. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's Just giant. please get him. Dude, he, you set the hook on this side. Uh, he's up the other side of the. Door. Yeah, I know. Here, here he comes. He's trying to get in this brush. Oh my God. He's in it. Get up. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Let's go! Dude, it was, your hook is in his. It went through it his. Through him. His fin. What in the? <laughs> okay, that's six, easy. Six, seven, number four. That's a six again. Yeah, dude, that makes no sense to me. I have no idea why that's happening. Dude, that's another. Dude, that's another six. Congratulations! It's, no, that's way bigger than six, man. What's well, well, six deal. or seven? I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe another seven and a half. I don't even know. We have to do so much converting. Dude, how did he get the hook in him like this? Well, Joe, I th I'm just, <laughs> honestly, I'm glad that I'm here to witness. That's why he took off all crazy, probably. He probably sucked it in. It went through his gill, like out. Yeah. And then and I felt the bite, him. and he got spooked and ran away. That's why he was so far. Wait, Have you ever seen a fish do that? You set, I was trying to say you set the hook. But he was already gone, and yeah. No, you set the hook on through the brush, and he was already under the boat. That's on what the other, you set the that's hook on the saying. other side of the boat. Bro. Oh my god, dude. This all seems fake right now. My guy's got a hook in his arm. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm going for another kilogram measurement here. Let's see if it's bigger than the last one that we couldn't convert. Alright, I got I'll, I'll film and do my job. Our camera guys are gone and we're having the best fishing day of our lives. Yeah, what do you know? Dude, there's fish rolling in those that wood up there too. It's all loaded. This whole entire cove is just loaded. Zeroed. Kilograms. Kilograms. Three point Five kilograms, dude. 3. That's five one. That's that's in the that's a seven and a half pounder. What the, <laughs> dude? Oh yes. God. Oh my. What is happening wow. right now, bro? Wow. Dude, that is nuts. Jeez. That's crazy. All right. Well, throw it back, man. No pictures. <laughs> yeah. We gotta keep fishing. We haven't even converted <laughs> in one of these. Three point five one and three point four four. We're just throwing back four and five baby. pounders and not weighing them because we know we can catch bigger. All right, Lojo, keep doing your thing, man. We're working. This might be the biggest bag ever in an hour and a half. It already is for me and you, but it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's about to be. Yeah. Dude, they're not even gonna believe us. They're gonna think we're. They're gonna they're think really we're lying. liars. They're little, we're gonna have to show them the video. Yeah. Real. We're gonna have to show them every single video clip. That's gonna be a memory video, dude, for sure. There's gonna be so many little TikToks made of that. <laughs> I wanna be one of them.